Voters in several Westmoreland County communities have an important ballot question in the upcoming election. The measure deals with how the Norwin Public Library is funded. Ross Gadotti has more, including how supporters of the library say this vote could determine the future of that facility. Yeah, the ballot question is pretty simple. Should a library tax pertaining to three communities in Westmoreland County be reduced from 1.2 mills to 0.2 mills? Those who are in favor of it say it's about time that the library start paying for itself. Those against it say it could very well doom the library. The great American writer Sidney Sheldon once said libraries store the energy that fuels the imagination. And according to some, the Norwin Public Library is no exception. Coming into the library frequently, uh, at least a couple times a month. And we've done story time and we just love it here. It gives us a place to go. So we come probably a couple times a month, get books. She loves, she loves to read, loves to read. However, the upcoming election will see this question on the ballot, asking residents in North Huntington, Irwin and North Irwin, if their library tax should be cut from 1.2 mills to 0.2 mills. A group calling itself Friends of the Norwin Library Reform are behind the measure, asking voters to vote yes to cut the tax, calling it a burden on taxpayers and saying the library isn't necessarily needed as much now as in days past thanks to cell phones and laptops. If this group is successful, the library would close within three or four years, as I would imagine. That's Norwin Public Library Director Diana Falk. She says the measure is misleading, saying the library tax shouldn't be a burden if you break it down to this. $22 per household, so every household will be able to buy a large pizza. But if the measure is passed, it could mean this for the library's bottom line. We would initially lose over half of our budget. We're open right now 54 hours a week. We would have to certainly cut down hours, staffing, collection development. Um, there is no area of the library services that wouldn't be impacted by this cut. KDKA reached out to friends of the Norwin Library Reform for their take on the issue, and we're awaiting a response. Meanwhile, for Falk and many others we spoke to, a yes vote will, in essence, sink the intellectual lifeboat the library is to many residents. Even if you don't use the library yourself, you make the community a better place, not only for your own children and grandchildren, but for generations to come. And remember, this referendum is only for those living in North Huntington, Irwin, and North Irwin. And the election, of course, is November 8th. In North Huntington, Roscoe Audie, KDK News.